Don't be surprised if your favorite restaurant is off the menu, at least temporarily, your menu. Workers have been getting sick with COVID or the flu, and some restaurants say they just don't have enough staff to operate right now. Andrea Lucia spoke to several operators about that impact. When Max Grill in Irving had two employees call in sick last week, it shut down for several days. But my kitchen, we, we are short staff. It's been like this for almost a year now. Odor Ujwa Katri says he can't lose any workers and keep the place running as much as it hurts him to close. Because I'm losing like two, three days of my business, I'm losing money. Um, and it's hardship for my employees as well because they work on tips. The neighborhood bar isn't alone. In Fort Worth, the food hall at Crockett Row and Pizza Verde both announced on social media they'll be closed through January 2nd because of six staff members. Easy Sliders in Grapevine has closed as well due to COVID exposure within our team. As any single person who shows up, if you feel any symptoms whatsoever, if you've got a cough, a sniffle, it feels like allergies, anything, let's start testing. And we had a handful of positive tests. John Bunnell canceled hundreds of reservations and limited his namesake restaurant in Fort Worth to curbside service only after six employees there got sick this week. There's a point where we said we can't provide the level of service that we're known for. Um, as folks know, we've had a pretty severe labor shortage. The Texas Restaurant Association reports businesses are struggling to rebuild staff after shutting down at the start of the pandemic to stop spread of the virus. 78% of Texas restaurants, it reports, still don't have enough employees to meet current demand. This time of the year, we used to have a lot of fun. The holidays and New Year's often bring in a lot of business. Instead this year, owners are asking, you be kind. Please uh, just have a little patience. Now, restaurant owners ask that you keep supporting your neighborhood mom and pop businesses. With Omicron cases rising, you may want to call ahead to check that they are open on their normal days and hours. If they are not, there are sometimes to go options or gift cards you can buy to help keep them going. In Irving, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.